What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to um, <laughs> EU4 Common Sense as Ming. Wow, I forgot the name then. Oh, my breath. Last time we uh, did more colonizing and still stuck in our regency, but only till uh, August of next year, so not too long. We also annexed Japan. So let's continue, and I just noticed there's a button down here. Birthplace of the Revolution. Apparently this thing just exists. Okay. I don't know what that, why that's there for, but okay. Does that mean we might be getting some sort of like revolutionary events if we were next door to them? That'd be interesting to see. Anyway, let's keep on going. Can't really do much while we're stuck in the Regency. As you might imagine. Although I'm thinking our target will be Oman very soon because they're not allied with anyone and we can just eat the coast because we do have uh, the Maldives <coughs> or even going after Warsongali they're allied with uh, don't like anyone in particular and I can't help but feel it'd be nice to get some provinces over here just go nuts in these last 50 years 50 60 years just conquer as much as we can it's even tempting to just annex our vassals as well which probably won't be a bad idea, but can't quite afford to do that because we just annexed one. We can highlight an idea, which I'm going to do because that's more money and that should help uh, our economy because we did suffer the corrupt bureaucrats, which is not ideal, but that should offset it and it has done. Hey, our guy came of age. Ooh, that air is really good. That is a nice one to get. Although I don't think we'll get him on the throne unless our current king dies soon, sooner rather than later. Now our current mission is to what? To remove Nepal from the map. Nepal has no allies. Yes, please. Uh, which one do we want? This one gives that one. Yeah, we'll just take imperialism. Use the imperialism CB. My door is slamming itself shut, which is not ideal. Show for a general. Eh, not very good, but could be worse. Let's move on in there. Stamp all over their face. I'm gonna have to make sure my door doesn't slam shut again, because that was annoying. There we go. Now that's under siege. It won't take too long to finish off. Wonderful. Hmm. Land fortification expert discovered. Get a military engineer or gain local defensiveness in one province. Um, sure. Let him stay home. I'm quite happy with the ones we have. I would like to get a level 3. Ooh, colony damaged. Oh, because you never got off the boat, that's why. Damn it. I forgot to send them off the boat. Oops. Oh well. They set us back a little bit, but it's not such a big deal. Gonna have to make sure our ship uh, docks up there as soon as it becomes a colony. Or, yeah, a colony, even. So that. Uh, they don't suffer attrition and can actually heal. How are our colonies actually doing? Where do we have colonies to have? We only have one colony. Oh yeah, because the one's on route. Yeah, we're currently colonizing the uh, what is that? The west side of. Uh, oh, keep doing that. Currently colonizing the west side of um, Canada. Is that ship docked up? I think it is. It is. You arrived there yet? Again, 200 settlers. Where? So slow. Um, or get nothing. Sure, I'll take another colony. We'll have to split you in half, but that's not such a big deal. There's only 1,500 men there. That's fine. I'll do that. It's a bit expensive, but as soon as corrupt bureaucrats goes away, we will. Uh, we'll have more than enough money. There we go. Let's go over here. Take that. Got no money, so I don't care. That's it. Yeah, we'll just eat you. There we go. Very nice. Can call this for quite cheap because of our thing, <laughs> our admin efficiency. Bengal, who are you allied with? You're allied with Sind. Would Sind join in? Probably, I imagine. 
would our ally join against Bengal? They would. Sindh wouldn't jump, or Sindh would, but Delhi wouldn't. Yeah, I'm willing to do that. March there and we'll go straight after their capital. Sure, let's go absolutely crazy when it comes to uh, expanding. And you can march over to uh, those mountains there. And that should stop Sindh from coming through. Although they can just walk straight through Delhi, so I suppose it doesn't make a huge difference. They're on tech 27, we're on tech 28. Well, hopefully that won't take too long to siege. Where's our big fleet with all the heavy ships in it? There it is. Let's bring it down here. That's... Yeah, we should be able to deal with that just fine. Oh, they have a 50 stack. But we have a... Uh, quite... We're quite strong, our armies. We have a lot of discipline. We have, uh, what, it's 115%? Yep. We also have this army here that can come down to act scary as well. Especially if they're going to attack. Which, he's attacking my vassal, so we'll get the army en route. My vassal just melted immediately. And got stack wiped. You're on take 22, no wonder. Shameful. Well, we'll just focus on sieging up for their capital for the time being. That's being called. You're heading back down to there. You're attacking my army again. That's fine. I'll gladly walk an army over there to attack it. 21st. Let's make sure it locks in. There we go. You will arrive four days late, but not a big deal. Uh, I should probably upgrade these forts. Realistically thinking, I really should. But we'll do it after the war. We are winning. There we go. But we need a lot of cannons to siege that. Like, a huge number of cannons. How's our vassal doing? He's got his own problems to contend with. We just have 60,000 men. So, he has a decent-ish army. Now, do we have any other ships that can join in to help down here? Suppose we could bring the transports? Uh, you really need to upgrade. Uh, how many cannons do we actually need to get bonuses here? 25. How many do we have here? We have 8 plus 16. 23. I'm almost tempted to do that. I think we'll just slow siege it though. It's going to take a very long time. We need to roll very high on the dice to get anything. And what's the uh, time limit? Only 28 days, so not too terrible. It's not particularly slow. We've got a 14, which is good. That gives us a nice busted walls. It is their capital, so I'm not surprised it's taking a long time to siege. Do have to keep an eye out for uh, Sindh as well. Sindh jump in? They did. Well, I'm guessing their armies are going to come down here and attack Bajapur. Uh, I'm going to have to give up some provinces to Bajapur. They do have claims after all. And I do want to keep them on my side. So I'll have to do that. I really want to attack that army, but I can't help but feel it'll end badly. Let's get another leader. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. If we do that, are any of our men going to jump in? Oh dear, I'm locked in. Never mind. Mistakes were made. Can we hold off? As long as we don't roll pathetically. Looks like the army's going to lose. Although our vassal is coming in. Yeah, the army's going to flee, but our vassal should kill them. Which is fine by me. Well, the army's fleeing far. Wow. Well, as soon as you're done running away... Well, apparently I can't set them to uh, move back. Oh well. Guess we'll just keep the sieges going. Eight. Eight minus four gave us four. Yeah, we need at least a nine to get anything. Which is kind of a pain, but it's to be expected. Rival of our rival, make the Ottomans like us again. 
Oh, I love that event. Wow, Egypt ate a lot of the Ottomans. Uh, improved relations. There we go. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the both the Poland and Russia are both attacking the Ottomans. Oh, poor Ottomans! You are not having a good day. Too many military leaders. Well, I don't care. Now then, still, ugh, still need to roll higher than eight. We need to get at least a nine. No, not an eight. I could move some cannons over. That would probably be a good idea. Where is that fleeing army gone? It's over here somewhere. Come back over here. I'm probably going to have to move the cannons out of it and set them here. There we go. Finally making progress. Now we can roll all the eights we want. Uh, internal conflict in revolutionary Ottomans. Yeah, they're uh, they're on a uh, crash course, unfortunately. It's just a spiral for them at this point. Well, how much of Bengal do we want to eat? Am I taking their capital? Uh, sure, I'll gain some points. How expensive is this province? Only 13. It's got 19 development. I don't mind giving that province to my vassal. And then just eating all these for myself. Like all the ones from these three provinces across. I could do that. Probably very expensive. Maybe these ones as well. They're quite high development. Tropical wood is produced in Hawaii. Somehow I'm not that surprised. Getting more good rolls. Now we actually make progress regardless of what we roll. Well, as long as it's above a 4. And we roll a 3. No, 13. I'll take a 13. 13 is more than okay. Actually, have a still got a minus twenty one though. Man, this siege is going to take a long time. Hey, we can tech up. Uh, sure, I'll upgrade diplotech. This war isn't going to end anytime soon, so I'm not too bothered. Hey, we're actually getting a hundred percent siege blockade here as well. That's nice. Moving all their units together. I could go over there and kill them, but I'd really rather not. Hey, there we go. Create an army, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Do you want to go over there and just start sieging something? What level 4 is that? Level 4. How many men do we need to siege this? That's not what I wanted to do. We need 33, so chances are he's not going to be able to siege that. He might be able to because that is their capital, but we'll see. A new Holy Roman Emperor. He's getting up there a bit more, and he might be able to uh, enact whatever that is. Hey, Colin became self-sustaining. Wonderful. Move over here. Uh, we could send a colonist there. What's the? I'd rather just send one there instead and just keep colonizing. Oh, how's those ships doing in the ocean? Not you. No. No, no. Why is the ones around Hawaii? It's a 21 stack, that's why. Get in there in Hawaii. And heal up a little bit. Yeah, we can't siege that, unfortunately. Now then, we actually have a good chance of taking this now. Come on, need a 12. Hmm. So close. Now we need an 11. Uh, can you siege any of these? Oh wow, they're all level 4s. Well, it looks like Bengal's been putting his money to good use. That's a level 2. Maybe not. Four. Yeah, all the ones on our borders are all level 4s. Somehow I'm not surprised. I'm still wondering where Sin's army is. Perhaps they're just not bothering. It wouldn't surprise me. Now then, I think that's the maximum we can get. Oh no, we can get one more and then we just have to hope for the best. Yep, now we just have to hope for the best to uh, get the rest of these ones. Just take out these provinces while we're at it. Can we piece Sind out? Well, they just, like, piece out. No, they won't. Although I wouldn't mind taking a province down here somewhere. Actually, they're all really cheap. I 
I wouldn't mind taking all those provinces. I guess we might be able dragging this war in a bit longer. Hey, we finally seized their capital. Wonderful. I'd rather not keep sieging these forts because they are a royal pain, but we have no choice. What I should probably do is get more cannons. How many more cannons do we need for this army? It's got 16. We need what? We need 25. So we need the 9 cannons. That's expensive. Do I have any cannon templates? I do not. Can I have mercs? Costs 27 ducats. So we need 9 of them. Well, we can afford it. Just about. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. There we go. And we'll drop them with the other army. As soon as they're done. Slowly sieging away. It's a pity we don't have any leaders with a siege. Do we have an a idea that will give our leader siege? Uh, where's the ideas one? Here. Policy even. Shock. Uh, Maneuver. Hmm. None that give siege, unfortunately. Which is a real shame. If we could get one of them, then uh, it would certainly help. I'm still looking out for a good general, actually. What's our tradition like? 8.3. It's rubbish. Okay. Good to know. Uh, before this is up as well, I need to attack Russia. Got a bunch of targets. Thankfully, it only take like three years per one, so we can go all the way up to like 99 over extension, and then just uh, burn it all off, and then go back and attack someone else in after five years. So we should be able to take a decent number of provinces during that time. I'm not too scared. I mean, we are quite high on the army table at the top, in fact, and we have a lot of manpower and a lot of men. We have more manpower than Russia, which is wonderful to see. Let me make this modifier. Ooh, that hurts. That actually hurts a lot. It's going to be losing money now. Ouch. Ah, mate, ah. Her armies are expensive to maintain. What can be said? Do we have any, uh, anything that can make that cheaper? We could boost stability. Why not? Help out with the economy a little bit. Policies. Um, nothing that makes it cheaper, unfortunately. Mm. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to suck it up. Still create armies. Keep converting Japan. No, thank you. I want to get Sind out of the war if possible. Uh, they won't accept it, so we do need to go over there and take a couple provinces. Again, I probably want to take like these two. Maybe these two, three. As many as I can afford to get away with. Let's put it that way. Oh, our army's under attack, but <laughs> it looks like they made a mistake when they attacked. Yeah, our army's uh, holding its own quite well. Still, we are hemorrhaging money. And that is not a good thing. We have mercenaries? Why do we have mercenaries? Where are these mercenaries? No. No. Over here? Yes. It's a royal mortar. Oh, we'll get rid of it. I don't want to keep it around. It's expensive. We're losing enough money as it is. There we go. Disband it. Save as a ducat. It's not a huge amount. Looks like we're going to be taking out a loan after all, but uh, after that, well, we should be okay. That administrative problem really hurt, though. What's our inflation like? Can we drop that at all? Hmm, it's making things a bit more expensive. Uh, we could raise war taxes. Why not? There we go, everything became dirt cheap. Now then, where's those cannons I built ages ago? Get down here. Give this army some more muscle. How are the Ottomans looking? Let's go have a look at them. 
know. They are a uh, really good situation. What's Russia gonna take? Mm, looks like Russia because they couldn't go uh they couldn't go uh, east, they went uh, south instead. They made peace. Ooh They had some big chunks of land. I wonder what their other extensions like. Can we check that in the ledger? Countries technologies? No, that's not going to help. Hmm. Wish there was a way to tell. What's the most development? I do. By quite a substantial amount. <coughs> we are no longer considered a valid rival for Russia. Does that mean Russia got too big? Inexcusable. We must purge them. Oh no, we eclipsed them. Never mind. Good. Whew, no need to worry then. Uh, what just happened? Why was our army under attack? Ooh, hello. Where's this? In Lan Zhao. Lan Zhao, what do you have already? Um, just making six ducats. Suppose we'll do. Um, yeah, we'll do tax. Why not? Get my money out of it. We have costly embargoes, so we'll revoke it. Covert. Economic. Revoke embargo. Create an army. I'm not going to do that. It'll be far too expensive. I may do it eventually. But that isn't eventually. So. I'm <laughs> going to take a bit of time to do it. Still spawning units on my cannons as they're walking through. Might have been a smart idea to have them all together in one big pile rather than just sending them through one at once. Probably wouldn't be a bad would have yeah, probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. Save stuff like that happening. Although apparently our cannons are really strong, so I'm not too concerned. That's annoying. Where's my army? As soon as you finish that we'll go stomp that two stack that stop oh never mind. I vassal did it for us. Thank you. Hey, and we finished sieging that as well. Perfect. Loop up. Go siege that one up there. With your enormous stack of cannons. Uh, do you just want to like, siege up some of these ones? Uh, we need to give that to Bajapur and that to Bajapur. That's all they can take, so that's all I'm going to give them. I do want to get a piece of Sindh, I really do. Just, just, just a small piece, like there. One of these ones. Or maybe that one. But that's not going to happen. So we're going to have to go over there and stomp all over their face. And after we've eaten a bunch of this, maybe we'll go off to Russia? I mean, what's Russia's army like? Don't think it's as big as ours. No, in fact, they've only got 100,000 men, and they're probably all in the Ottoman territory at the moment. Unfortunately, they are, they are allied with Spain. For some bizarre reason. I really don't understand that. Hmm. That could become problematic. Well, I think we could probably take them. If we built up to our force limit and had giant 50 stacks roaming around everywhere, which we can do, then we should be okay. I mean, force limit wise, we have more than them combined, <laughs> including army wise as well, and manpower. So, on our own, we should be more than capable of dealing with them. Provided I actually go up to my force limit. Which, again, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Now then, how is the rest of our stuff doing? I could probably be doing with building buildings, but we're just so big I find it difficult to bother with it. I don't be such a bad idea to upgrade some more manpower places actually. Hmm. Well, we'll think on it. For now though, let's just focus on sieging up Bengal. That's gonna take a long time. Honestly, I wouldn't mind prioritizing the forts. Because we can call them pretty much wherever we are. 
and that means next time we declare war, they won't have any forts unless they build them, which they could do, but that would be exceedingly expensive. We'll see. Oh, can't make himself stunning. Hooray! Hawaii has finished. Do we have any other missions yet? We'll wait till the end of the month. See if we can get another colonial mission. Maybe colonizing down here. We already have a colony up in Canada. So I'm okay with colonizing the rest of the Philippines. And whatever this area is called. Daru. Nope, not going to get another colony mission. That's fine, I guess. Attached to there. And um, we'll send them to... Uh, down here, I guess. Um, why not here? Here looks good. That's the wrong fleet. It's that one we need. The fleet, at least. And we'll bring it down here. And then how are you doing? 7%. Yeah, you're making uh, progress, which is good. Do you want to go over there and stomp them from, you know, taking back the provinces? Also, it kills their manpower. There we go. Uh, can you siege that? You can. Good. Siege it. We'll siege all of them up. All of them up. If only we could get a siege general. How oh, is our king in terms of making him into a general? He has siege. He's also got six fire. Good God. He's uh, apparently quite strong. Let's put it that way. Now, what can we take? I really want to get a piece of Sind. I really do. What's Sin's army like, actually? Because I haven't seen it at all this entire time. Sin, they have 15,000 men. Really? Only 15,000? I have a 20 stack here, not doing anything. I'm getting doing something. We'll even put, say, you in charge. Persia is attacking Sin as well. Well, we'll go down there and siege up some stuff. Hey, we finished sieging over here. You can have the king. And we'll go and siege up some more of these forts. Why do you have to walk that way around? Why can't you just walk from there to there? Oh, because of that fort, that's why. Never mind. Well, you are doing just fine, I suppose. And now we just play the slow waiting game. Oh, there's a Cinder army there, apparently. Well, that meant nothing for our army, so I'm not concerned. Gonna need to heal a bit. And it's suffering. Well, it's not suffering attrition because it's moving. So, that's fine. And we can just stand down here and siege up one of these. I only want one or two. Don't want to get too greedy after all. Speaking of, we have Call for Peace. Is that a capital? It is. It's got no fort. Would you, it's got no fort? Really? War tax has ended. Yeah, it's got no fort. What? Why? Why do you have no fort? Well, I'm just going to siege it up. Oh, our theologian died. Well, that's not good. And oh, we can't get a replacement either. Get production efficiency. Sure. It's expensive, but it gives us more admin points. Which we need. And they're definitely going to need considering uh, what we are taking at the moment. And how are you doing? Sieging up fairly faster. Come on, siege that down quicker. Again, colonial conquest against the Cherokee. Come on. Um, I'll lose prestige because we're going to get a bunch. Ho! Oh! What's his army there? We should be fine. We're not at war with those other two. So I think he may be in for a horrible surprise. Yeah, it's his 21 stack versus our 20-some. Uh, 
they accept a piece with Bajapur. Well, I was going to give Bajapur stuff. Well, I'm not too upset. They still love me. So, that's fine. The war may have started to take a toll against them. Oh my god, really? Come on. Just need a good roll. And to take, like, two provinces. Some peace. Do you give me that? Nope. Come on. So close. There we go. Finally. Go over there and kill the army before it does anything. Will you give me provinces now? You will. I can't take that one. How much can I take from you? A fair amount. Um. Well, they have 400 ducats. Well, that only gives us uh, 12 other extensions, so. Do I want to do that? Yeah, sure, why not? Be crazy. There we go, now we have random provinces in places. And these are quite cheap as well. Which is quite nice. How much would we gain if we did this? Well, they're only 30 each, so I'm willing to just spend the points. Colonize there. Well, we don't have a colonist yet, but hopefully we'll get one. I'll take the mission regardless. Oh, we are well past 30 minutes, so I have to end this part here. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.